My name is Ben Dubin Taylor. My name is Sarah Weisberg. I did my PhD at Columbia in the lab of Mike Sheets. I did a master's in biology at the Weizmann Institute of Science and also at Princeton. After I finished my PhD, I had a lot of really exciting postdoc opportunities. I loved using microscopes to see things that I could never see with my eyes. But at the same time, living in New York City, seeing people from all walks of life who just had no idea what was going on in the lab. Is it possible to make that level of science, that level of cell biology, is it possible to make it interesting to anyone? And what we are in right now is the experiment that we've set up to test to see can we make science interesting, engaging, fun to anyone who walks in off the street. Well, here we are outside the bio bus, and before we were able to run our experiment, have people come on the bus and do experiments, we needed to figure out how to solve a couple of problems. One problem that we had was electricity. We wanted to run microscopes, computers, screens, all kinds of stuff. Where do we get our electricity from? So, okay, there are a couple of solutions to that problem. You can constantly connect to a power grid, but then you're tied down. We wanted to be able to go out into rural areas all over the country and not worry about having a place to plug in. Instead, we actually run the bus completely on renewable resources. For instance, we have a wind turbine on the front of the bus. We have solar panels on the roof of the bus. And in addition to making electricity, we make energy for the engine using waste vegetable oil that we collect from restaurants. We're making our energy from the sun, from the wind when it blows. But in addition to making our energy from clean sources, we also wanted to reduce the amount of energy that we had to use. In order to do that, we have a couple of things, including insulation on the inside of the bus, including a, li a live green roof on the roof of the bus, and it acts basically like a natural air conditioner. The plants keep the roof cool and the rest of the bus cool when it's hot. We also have some reflective paint on the roof to keep the rest of the roof cool. And for heating, instead of um using a gas or, or a coal-based heater. We have a pellet burning stove, a stove that burns um, recycled wood pellets. The BioBus is filled with amazing microscopes. We have microscopes that range from $300 to $25,000, and they've been donated by companies like Olympus and Nikon and Modic and Zeiss, and it really makes the BioBus an amazing place to do science. In the beginning, we had this bus, we had these amazing microscopes, we had all of this energy being created, but we needed some students. Basically, I went to friends of mine who were teachers and asked them if they would be interested in having the bus come to their school. They said, yeah, bring the bus. And we went and worked with our students and the students loved it. Word of mouth spread, other teachers started learning about us and now we have hundreds of teachers that we visit every year that um, are starting to work the BioBus into their regular curriculum. The science that we do inside of the BioBus is inspired um, by our own work and also our collaborations with scientists like those here at Woods Hole. My name is Mark Allegro and I'm a uh, senior scientist at the Marine Biological Laboratory here in Woods Hole. People who run the program have been uh, exposing kids to sea urchin development. And this is a great example of uh, kids having the opportunity to get hands-on experience and experience first-hand excitement uh, with biological materials. So the kids are getting to see cells, they're getting to see embryos develop through a great collection of microscopes that are uh, here on the BioBus. And uh, I enjoy programs like this. I enjoy bringing uh, fundamental science to kids of all ages, including myself. As well as allowing scientists like ourselves, who love their lab work, love what they're doing, find it incredibly exciting, but want to get out and, and bring that to the community a way to do so. At Woods Hole, we've been collaborating with Mark Allegro, who is a scientist who specializes in embryology, and we've worked with him for the past week to develop the sea urchin embryo development experiment. And we're going to take that uh, experiment and offer it as part of our regular course so that students can come on and see cells dividing and see animals developing on their own using their own hands.
The BioBus has lessons developed for anywhere from kindergarten all the way up through college um, so that the <laughs> students who are really little um, look at their fingers and look at bugs. The students who are a little older start looking at organisms and body plans. Students in middle school will start looking at microorganisms and students in high school can look at the internal physiology of the cell, looking at DNA and mitochondria using our fluorescence microscopes. So we have a really wide range of lessons that we can offer. What we're really trying to do with the BioBus is allow people to come on board, use really powerful tools that we would normally only have in the lab, learn alongside with scientists who are helping them use those tools and make their own discoveries, see new things that they've never seen before and get them really excited about science and the process of discovery. You can find out more about the BioBus by going to our website, biobus.org. You can learn about our upcoming public events and also how to invite the BioBus to come to your school, as well as learning about how to volunteer on the BioBus. And lastly, I hope that we've managed to convince you that you can get anybody excited about what you are doing. Um, just make it relevant, make it real, make it fun, and it'll be cool. Thank you.